gonna have to like wildly overcompensate. So this side of the room, get clapping and cheering! <laughs> trendy alternative to the main brands. You're right, John. 2013 was excellent. In fact, 2013 was so excellent, I want to do exactly as well this year as we did last year. The fact of the matter is, if we get any bigger, people are going to start looking at our salaries, our taxes, and our ethics. To be honest, it all sounds like a lot of bother. we <laughs> have the best ideas on how to stay exactly where we are. John. What you got? Well, what we could do is we could run exactly the same marketing campaign as we did last year. Nice one, John! <laughs> now let's keep this ball still. Keep on. <laughs> or we could raise our prices in line with inflation. Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> the dog is on the set! Okay, Amanda. We could introduce some new features to tide up our existing customers, but not significantly to attract new ones. <laughs> as intelligent as she is, <laughs> this is ridiculous. This isn't going to work. You can't just stay in one place and then change the economy. Either we outdo our competitors or they outdo us. Damn it, Peterson! It's that kind of no can do attitude that's going to get us somewhere. I think you're thinking positively about going nowhere. Pick that up. Not now, Peterson, you incompetent. <laughs> Someone give me an idea to put uh, a stench of that rubbish out of my mind. We could open a star at a university, but not offer anything for free. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. You see, Peterson, you see what a decent idea sounds like. I suppose you'll be expecting us to give 50% this year. Finally, you're coming around to my way of thinking. Good boy. Sir, I I'm going to give... 55% this year. You know it's mathematically impossible to give 55%. <laughs> I've had enough of your shit, Peterson! Get out of my face! And I expect those papers on my desk by Monday! Fuck off! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Toronto. <laughs> Essay that was due in last Tuesday. Uh, uh, yeah, the essay. I don't. Yeah, well, I... yours is outstanding. What? Your essay. It's outstanding. Is it? Yes. And I know this because you were currently the only girl in the whole school year with an outstanding essay. And from what I hear from the other tutors, this is not the first instance. Oh. <laughs> Jessica, I would like to meet with you now to discuss the standard of your work and what. Options might be open for you after you leave this term. It would be very important for you to start thinking about your future in light of your work ethic. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, definitely. That would definitely be most integral to my future, sir. Okay, right. Be back in a minute. So, whose work did you copy? No one. I didn't ask no one. I didn't even ask that ad. But I don't even remember doing the essay. Sir, so loved it. And Miss Knight and Mr. Currents. I must have written it without even thinking. Maybe it comes so naturally to me that my subconscious does all the work for me. I always thought I was stupid. I never thought I might actually be clever. Oh my God, Danny, I'm actually clever. I'm one of the clever ones. Oh, well, that's so exciting. Like, what are you going to do now that you're a genius? I don't know. I guess I have to look at going to university. <coughs> Can we go somewhere like the University of Oxbridge? <laughs> <laughs> I won't need you, though. You what? But we've been mates, like, forever? I always thought that I don't want to be your mate. It's just that we going away and all things will naturally push us further apart. You know, different social circles, deadlines, exams, my superior intellect, <laughs> work schedules, your inevitable jealousy. <laughs> my jealousy? <laughs> Worry, Jess. You've changed. You used to be cool. Consider our friendship officially terminated. Don't even dare ever speak to me ever, ever again. Uh, um, okay, uh, sorry, Kimmy, Jessica. Uh, when can you get the work into me for? You are. Your essay? Really, Jessica? Things aren't looking great at the moment. You're missing school, you've got terrible grades, appalling behaviour, and now you're not handing in your work. Really, be lucky to get any job after this. But you said my work was outstanding. Yes, outstanding. You haven't done it. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'll see you at detention then. Mostly piracy. <laughs> <laughs> what precisely does that entail? Well, I know you're not an expert, but basically, it's looting, it's pillaging, it's rifling, there's also some primitive. See, um, these all sound like very high risk ventures, if you don't mind my saying so, Mr. Teacher. Think so? Well, we've got an excellent crew. Crew? I, I mean, team. <laughs> uh, there's Poxy Tom. He is smart as hell, and he has a heart of steel. And a hand that is also made out of steel. Just out of Port Royal, and he's good at a crazy jack. He can count the hairs on a tortugan harlot's chip. <laughs> and no one can buckle a swash quite like peg leg feet. 
I'm all for equal opportunities employing Mr. Teach, but I worry these men impaired as Differently such. able. <laughs> may be unable to complete the tasks. Besides, nothing you've mentioned so far seems to require my investment. What well, is it you plan on doing with the money? Let me explain. First, we buy a very, very large and ornate chest. Then we put the rest of the money into that chest. <laughs> then we find an island that has interesting looking trees, rock formations, and stuff. Then we bury it and leave it there. Sorry, is that bury it there? Yeah, we bury it and leave it there. But we do draw ourselves a nice map. Surely, I mean, forgive me for doubting your professionalism. Surely between you, remember where you bury 20,000 doubloons? Funny idea. We know, we find a map is the best thing to do. This map, then, is it's stored in some kind of safe vault? Oh no, we have exciting investment opportunities for the map. We can use it in a game of chance, as a spin, like poker. Or we can put it in a bottle and leave it precariously balanced on the edge of the ship. Especially <laughs> during <laughs> Or, and this is a new... I think so. I always do my chores and I look after my friend Jimmy. 
Notice that's a nice new shirt you've got there, Timmy. Did you buy it yourself? Yeah, I saved up my pocket money for it. And if you saw your friend Jimmy drowning in a lake, would you swim out and save him, even if it meant ruining this nice new shirt of yours? Of course I would. A person's way more important than a shirt. Then why didn't you give the money to charity? <laughs> you could have saved lives in Africa instead of buying that <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Don't think their lives are worth more than a shirt. <laughs> Sounds like you're a bad person, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe even a racist. <laughs> No heaven for you. <laughs> well, that's quite enough adventure for one day. I'm pooped. Me too. And remember, kids, the, the chances are none of this matters. <laughs>